I could b -b 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 burst <laughs> because renowned chef Weta Michael and fellow political science graduate from the University of Kentucky Woo! Woo! is here at yeah. the table. Let's we have wanted her on since the before the first day we started this show. I like to me. I, I'm so excited. <laughs> the only person I would be more excited to see is Dwayne The Rock Johnson. Oh my God! Y'all know how I feel about Dwayne yeah. The Rock Johnson. I, that is the best <laughs> intro I have ever had. <laughs> because I love Dwayne The Rock Johnson. <laughs> oh Lord, twins. Oh Lord. <laughs> <laughs> so welcome. Thank you so much for having me. This is the, I mean, this has been my little dream too, to come on this oh, show. Yes. And honestly, these two came and cooked their butts off at yes, the studio. And oh. I was like, when am I gonna be able to be on that show? <laughs> yeah. like, yes. Okay, so you, tell us what's going on for the holidays over at Holly Hill & Co. And then give us any tricks or tips to make us be kind of like you if we try oh, real hard. Oh my God. <laughs> Don't look too far behind the curtain is all I can say. Um, well, I brought you all Christmas cookies. It's yes. all holiday cookies because it's the time. I mean, it's the season and we make all these. We're, our bakery makes them all. We make them all from real butter, Weisenberger Mill flour. They're all my family recipes. And that would be the one thing I would say about Christmas and Thanksgiving is it's a time to crack out the old recipes, you know, yes. whether you're snacking or whether you're having a big meal. Um, try to pull those old family recipes out and create culinary traditions because it helps enrich the holiday. And if you de if you don't have the time, buy mine. Yeah. 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 Okay. So I have a small confession and I'm embarrassed, but you know we're all about transparency on this show. So I know that these cookies are good, and so I wanted a pack for myself. And I and I jokingly was like, these cookies are mine. And so now I need to take them out of where I put them, but I forgot where I put them. Now where I went, I literally. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say something, oh my God. but I just I let it go. Them up. I, I didn't want anybody to get concerned. Like she might know oh, she's sick. Yeah, she might yeah. need to get checked out. It was the uh, cookies. Predator. Okay, so We're tell stuffing us. cookies. In. <laughs> okay, so tell us about this gorgeous cookies really quickly because you have something else for us too. Yes, okay, so the like, ones you like are the icebox cookies. Yes. That's oh, a brown sugar cookie. So yes, delicious. please start eating. That's a coconut macaroon. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. That's an icebox cookie. Mm -hmm. Lisa, <laughs> then there, there's, those are cranberry vanilla yeah. shortbread. Oh these are my great grandmother named these damn good sugar cookies, and she did not cuss. Mm. I do cuss. No. All the time. <laughs> um, and, and these are mm. sorghum crinkles and chocolate chips. So we have six varieties, and uh, we have two dozen in each box. We ship them all over the country because, like, who needs more stuff? Focus on consumables and mm -hmm. focus on things that are made with local ingredients by hand from scratch, no fillers, all natural, all butter. I'm a big believer in the all butter cookie. Absolutely. I Lisa, love your mouth is full. You need to ask question <laughs> number oh three. God. It's literally melting in my mouth. I'm serious. It's so good. It really is. So tell us about um, any type of events or anything oh, that nope. happen. Oh, wait. Okay, we're doing well, the bourbon game. Yeah, yes, okay. sorry. Yep. All right, we're going to talk about We have a ton of events going on. Mm -hmm. Our <laughs> website has them all listed. But okay. okay, so this, I brought you guys this because it's the holidays. I'll hold it up today. People okay. give a lot of bourbon as gifts mm -hmm. and one way to give uh, to enrich that gift of a bourbon bottle is to do a bourbon tasting game i have been doing this now since 2010 this flavor wheel exercise so here we'll open this up i'm gonna pass a these down flavor wheel so this exercise. is enough okay. in this little box you have enough for four people to do your flavor wheel exercise mm -hmm. don't drink the whole bar bottle of bourbon though that's way too much for four people <laughs> but um is it and you'll see <laughs> we'll see there's all these little interesting things in here to taste while you sip and what you're trying to do is write some tasting notes so you can taste your bourbon with a little banana chip. Why? Because there are banana notes in bourbon. But if you don't tell your brain, oh, there are banana notes in bourbon, brain, oh. it won't ever find them. There's dried cherries there. That's a perfect, beautiful mm -hmm. pair with bourbon. Interesting. Toasted hazelnuts. Sorghum suckers from Ruth Hunt Candy. So we oftentimes we, we taste with sorghum. Mm -hmm. And then we have these beautiful Italian candied orange peels Whoa. that are Oh, can we do those? Yeah, let's do those. Here, you crack open the bourbon. Okay. So this is both science and entertainment melded it is. together. It's educating it, us. It is. It's educating and it's yeah. fun and it's about connoisseurship. And connoisseurship is not about snobbery. Connoisseurship oh, right. is about mindfulness. That's right. It's about focusing on... Um, what you're tasting 
yes. and what and what, how is it making you feel and how things can go together. So if you're going to write a Baby menu pork. or yep. a recipe that uses bourbon, how are you going to do that if you don't know? Oh, here, you guys. Mm. Uh, okay. If you don't know how the bourbon tastes with certain ingredients. And here's okay. Cheryl. Yes. These are for you, bud. Now, what if I'm drinking it with the cookies I just ate? The, we have a whole box of bourbon lover cookies. They're, oh. they're, bourbon is fantastic with that sorghum cookie. Yeah. Yeah, you've got to try it. I'm just taste away. And these are okay. nice little gluten clear. So you, what the idea of how to play the game is you put all these yes, little please. ingredients like right on their thing. So you okay. line them all up and then as a group you can go around and taste. Oh, we don't quite gotcha. have time for that. Yeah. We just, well we, we gave you a lot of time because I told you you're like Dwayne the Rock Johnson. So <laughs> well, yeah, yeah. I can talk forever. But. Yeah. So we have this. So tell us how to do it. Okay. So, so uh, first take a tiny sip of the bourbon. Just a tiny. Just a okay. tiny. Just a tiny sip. What time? It's like, it is so early in the morning. There's a lot of You all are a mix. bad influence on yeah. me. Now taste. <laughs> now sip while you, while you taste. Oh, okay. while it's still in your mouth. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh my God. That's amazing. Oh, wow. Ah. Wow. But the orange notes in bourbon are, may is, are wonderful. It like explodes mm -hmm. the orange in and your mouth. It does. I mean, really. It really it does. And the oh. same with the cherry. If oh you want yes, yes, please. Oh my goodness. Mm -hmm. I want you to try the cherry and then we might not be able, I'd be worried about the rest of the show, but. Okay, I'll let you guys jump those yeah, out. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, I have another box. So, and then we have little chocolates too. These are even say Holly Hill on them. Oh, so cute. Aww. This is adorable. So, so where, yeah, where do people get this? Well, you can get it uh, at our website, Holly Hill & Co. Yeah. You can, we can ship it to you. You can pick it up at our studio. It's at Zim's in their little shop. Oh, it's at huh? Windy Corner in their little shop. It's at Wallace Station, mm. and it's also like at Liquor Barn. Okay. I believe Liquor Barn's carrying it, and we are trying to get, distrib get it distributed out so folks mm -hmm. can enjoy it during well, all different times. Now, so wait a minute. Yeah. Okay, so now the cherry, the cherry hits with it. So here's my thing. So this, okay, because I like bourbon. I'm a bourbon snob a little bit. Yeah. This has a lot of rye in it. Mm -hmm. And so, and the reason it's you know is because it's spicy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And so when I did the cherry with this very high rye, as you would say, recipe, Something happened. Yep. Oh yeah. So what happens? One one of the things that we often think about bourbon is that it kills the flavor of food. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So you don't drink bourbon with a great meal. Actually, when you have something like this cherry, right now your mouth is just filled with cherry. Yeah. Even though you took a sip of this highly competitive, like highly complex and high high octane spirit, mm -hmm. you really taste the cherry. Same with the orange. Mm -hmm. It's elevating the flavor of what you're tasting. It you, did. And, and, I do these flavor wheels all the time. Mm -hmm. Like when Aaron and I do the culinary tour, mm -hmm. we start with this flavor wheel. Mm -hmm. And it's just fun and it shows how bourbon can really activate the palate. The tasted hazelnuts are the same thing because you're bringing the nut oils to the surface of the nut. And so Ooh. when you taste it with the bourbon, and I'll just leave all of these here yeah. and you all can try all <laughs> Thank of them. Thank you. So, <laughs> so Weta, you have cookies, you have food, you have your yes. new studio in Midway? It's in Versailles, Versailles. on Main Street. Main Street. Yeah. I knew it was somewhere over yonder. We but went over there. <laughs> um, and so, and you have this drinking game. So folks, just go see her. Tell us the address so people can go find you exactly. Well, we're on Main Street of Versailles, mm -hmm. right next to the Amston Coffee uh, uh, House. But mm -hmm. online, we're at hollyhillandco.com. And all of this is online and we ship. We can ship all week long, all over the country. And we're ready to go. And we also have Kentucky Proud Apple Butter, all of our own mustards. We're really, we're really working. We're really working hard. You are. Right. Right. All, you all are. the restaurants have got Christmas specials and they're jamming and New Year's Eve is coming. We'll have New Year's Eve to go, New Year's Eve dinners everywhere. So it's going to be we great. We love it. Yes. Well, Weta Michael, you have made like my whole year. Thank you for being here. <laughs> Thank you for having me. Everybody stay